Hi, Ichiban team. How's it going? I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. Um, I'm sure you're wondering why I'm contacting you and who I even am. A little bit about myself. My name is Moses Aparicio. I own and operate a social media marketing agency here in the Reno area. I'm contacting you today because I'm a huge fan of you guys' restaurant. I'm a huge fan of your food. You guys create such an awesome environment and awesome experience. But I noticed that your social media platform is lacking a lot. And so the reason I like working with restaurants like yours is because I know what I've, I'm going to show you here today can get results and will work for especially for a great product like yours. But I also know that if I work with one of your competitors who has a lesser product, whose product isn't up to your standards, whose uh, customer service experience environment isn't the same, I know that. I won't be able to drive as much traffic to them because they'll have bad reviews and they just don't create that awesome experience that people really want to go to. And so that's how I want to help you and your company. You guys have such an amazing experience in store, but you guys don't create that same brand digitally online. And I'm sure you understand that how you're perceived online is extremely important, unfortunately, in today's society. In today's society, how many likes, shares, comments, and retweets you get is extremely important and it's it's a shame but that's just kind of how it is nowadays and so that's why we need to fix that for your brand you guys only are on facebook which is a huge opportunity a bunch of people are posting about you on instagram and stuff and you guys are missing all of that missing all that traffic and so i think it's extremely important that we do get you on instagram as well but not just that how to improve your facebook um, so you guys are getting awesome reviews. You guys have a four and a half out of five star rating. Uh, I honestly am surprised that it's not higher, but, but still that four and a half is still amazing and it's well-deserved, right? You guys, sh it should be higher based on, uh, you guys' product, but that's beside the point, but you guys are getting awesome reviews right here, but no one's taking the time out of the day to thank those people go out and say thank you for uh, them leaving a review and stuff and them giving you uh giving you awesome uh awesome advertisement so they when they post these it shares to all their followers and stuff so it's basically free advertisement for you and so looking at your posts here you guys have awesome food but these posts are just kind of boring they kind of look like they're just taken on on taken from online and stuff and so like this one right here, this one's really boring, but you guys have a great, uh, you guys have a great offer right here, but you guys have a boring post. And one of the issues you guys are having is you guys aren't very active on social media. You're not really posting that often. That post was in on June 7th, then June 6th, and then uh, May 31st. So you guys aren't really active. You guys haven't posted anything in July or August at all which is a huge missed opportunity because people love your restaurant, but you guys aren't necessarily staying top of mind because you guys aren't posting enough. You have 5,000 followers, almost, almost, uh, so five and a half thousand followers, but you guys aren't staying top of mind of those people. If you guys continue posting and stuff, then you'll stay top of mind. So the next time they think about going out and stuff, you're the first person that comes into mind. And so the best way I've found to stay top of mind and drive traffic to your store is, going into the ads manager. And so what this is right here is this is your Facebook ad manager. This is where you can post uh, Facebook ads and target them to specific people and target them for specific uh, things if you don't already know. And so I noticed, uh, so what I wanna do is I wanna create a, an awesome video. You guys already have posted some cool videos on, uh, on your Facebook and stuff. So I wanna, use either one of those or we can create a new one and just show how awesome your experience is show the fire burning in front of people and stuff and show your uh, cooks doing their routine and stuff and so what we're going to do is we're going to post that online and when we post it we're going to boost it for engagement right here and then so what that means is get more people to see engage with your post or page uh include comments shares likes. so what they're going to do is they're going to Show it to people that are most likely to do these things right here. Comment, share, like, uh, stuff like that. And so what we're going to do is on top of that, we're going to go in here and we're going to go into the audience section and we're going to type in Reno, Nevada. 
And this is extremely important that we type this in because I see a lot of restaurants uh, make the mistake of, not even just restaurants, businesses in general, make the mistake of sharing ads and not making it a, a specific location for a specific location. So your ad will get shared to people in California, Florida, Texas, anywhere. But we don't care to have people in Texas, Florida, and stuff like that see your ad, right? We only want people that are actually going to come into your store, right? So that's why we show it to people in Reno, Nevada, and we give it a 25-mile radius. So that way people in Carson will see it because people in Carson do come down to Reno, especially for big events like birthdays and stuff. And so we're going to share this ad. But it's extremely important that in this ad, we're not going to ask for a sale. We're going to just show them an awesome video. And so the reason we do that is because I'm sure you've noticed at this day and age, you see hundreds of ads a day. So people are just bombarded with ads all the time. And too many companies make the mistake of thinking that they're going to share one ad with one person and that person's going to buy from them immediately, right? That's, that's a huge mistake. That's very costly for their business. That's like me going out and just seeing the love of my life, the girl of my dreams, and asking her to marry me the, fir the very first time I see her without her knowing me or anything. No, that's, that's dumb. That's impossible, right? First, we have to create a bond, create a relationship, and then we can uh, move through that relationship and hopefully get married one day, right? So that's what I want to do with you. I want to keep you top of mind like I mentioned already. So we're going to show them this video. And the cool thing about Facebook is when you uh, post ads and post videos and stuff, you can put pic things called pixels in them. And what pixels does is it allows you to track who's viewing, who's engaging with this, with your post, your ad, whatever it is, with your website, with your Facebook page. And so the cool thing about that is what we're going to do is we're going to post this video and we're going to put a pixel in it that says we want to create a list of people that have seen 50% of this video. So that means people that are likely to want to enjoy your experience, right? They're going to see this video and they're going to be ent uh, enticed to watch all of it. So they're going to be extremely interested in in your uh, product, in your experience, in your environment. And so we're going to put them in that list. And then once they're in that list, we're going to show them another ad, right? So you already have these people that have seen at least 50% of your video. So that means they're extremely likely to want to buy from you, be curious. And then what we're going to do is we're going to show them another ad. And this time we're going to give them an offer, right? And so that's extremely important because it's going to activate the reticular activating system part of their brain. Once they're seeing your post in general, then they're seeing your ad, your first ad, and then they're seeing the second ad with the, with the offer, it's going to activate the reticular activating system part of their brain. And so what the reticular activating system part of your brain is, the function of it, is it allows, it either pushes things to your conscious state or leaves it in your subconscious mind. And so, for example, like, have you ever wanted to buy a new car? Say you want to buy a new, Fo a blue Ford. All of a sudden, when you're thinking about the new, thinking about buying the new Ford, Ford, you're driving on the freeway and you're seeing that car everywhere. That week, you you see that car like seven different times, right? Well, the thing is that car's always been there, but your particular activating system never deemed it important enough to like bring it to your conscious state. So it just kind of pushed it to the back, left it in your subconscious, so you never thought about it. But all of a sudden, that you think about it once and think about buying it. It starts coming up again and again and again. And once someone brings up cars, your reticular activating system notices it and brings it to your conscious state again. So then you're starting to think about that car even more. And so that's what we're going to do for you. When people start talking about your food, they're going to see your ads. Then when they just start talking about food in general, we want to associate that with Ichiban, right? So that's how we're going to drive traffic to your store. This is going to be the best way to get you people in the store that are actually interested or in, right? Because people that aren't interested in the type of food you provide aren't going to be watching that first ad, aren't going to be following your, uh, following your social media page. So that's how I want to drive new traffic to your store. You guys have an awesome environment in store and have an awesome product. But yet when we go online, when I go to your Facebook, when I try to look you up on Instagram, there's nothing there for me. There's nothing enticing. Your guys' Instagram brand isn't nearly as good as your store and that's a huge issue you guys are really missing out on huge opportunities here you're leaving a lot of money on the table so i think that i think that we should fix this and we should act on this soon because 
the longer you wait, the bigger problem it's going to become. So I would love to work with you and your team. I would love to meet up in person, see if we're a good fit for each other, see what you like about this video. And I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, let's try to set something up. Thank you. Have a great day.